Did you know that when you eat fish and chips, you might be eating shark? You might know it as flake, but it's actually shark. Shark meat is code red under the Australian Sustainability Seafood Guide. Code red means don't buy it. But because Australian regulations don't require any labelling for cooked seafood, you have no idea when you're chomping into your greasy battered fish, whether it's shark or indeed any one of the many highly endangered species of shark. Sharks are not great species to commercially fish. They grow slowly, mature late, and have relatively low reproductive rates. They're typical of a species that sits at the top of the food chain. We don't eat top predators like lions and tigers because their populations have little resilience to harvesting. Yet we kill 100 million sharks each year. Nearly 12,000 sharks are being killed every hour. Now this isn't driven slowly to supply your fish and chips. In fact, it's mostly because of the shark fin fishery. Fishing sharks is unsustainable. In fact, they even don't want the whole shark, just their fins. Much of the time they cut the shark's fins off and then throw the dying shark back into the sea. Yep, the shark is still alive when it's thrown overboard. But it's no longer got its fins, so it can't swim. It dies, but slowly. Shark fin soup is considered a delicacy with medicinal values. So shark fins are a high priced commodity. But the irony is that now that shark fishing is illegal in many countries, this has driven the price up even further. That's because we want what we shouldn't have. So now there's even more illegal shark fishing. There's been an explosion of shark fishing to supply our growing demand for shark fin cuisine. But there's no scientific evidence that shark fin has any medicinal qualities. In fact, what's been shown is that sharks can contain high concentrations of poisonous toxins. Toxins accumulate as you go up the food chain. And since sharks are some of the largest and longest living species in the ocean, they've consumed huge amounts of toxins over their lifetime. The highest values so far came from sharks like hammerheads. So, Depending on the shark who once owned that fin that's floating around in your bowl of soup, you could be eating concentrations of mercury 17% higher than recommended by the Environmental Protection Agency. So, it's not likely to be of medicinal value. In fact, it's more likely to be toxic. So why do we eat it? This shark fishery is not great for sharks. But did you know that it has disastrous knock-on effects to the entire ecosystem? Coral reef systems sustain large shark populations because they have so many fish. On reefs without sharks, smaller predators like carnivorous fish, such as snapper and emperors, they increase in abundance. That's because the sharks are their natural predator. And this means that the prey of these smaller predator fish, which are the herbivorous and algae eating fish, like parrot and rabbit fish, they now become less abundant. And these herbivorous and algae eating fish are extremely important to coral reefs. That's because they eat algae that can suffocate the coral, particularly after natural disasters. Or when the coral's been damaged, say after a cyclone, or when a crown of thorns starfish plague has gone through, or after a bleaching event. This is important because the coral needs time to recover, but coral grows really slowly compared to the algae. And if the algae takes over, it's difficult for the growing coral to get a foothold. But the fish are like gardeners. They eat away the rapidly growing algae, giving the slower growing coral time to recover. With climate change, coral reefs are predicted to undergo more stress, more bleaching events and more cyclones. So that if we reduce shark populations, we'll reduce the population of those small herbivorous fish, the gardeners protecting our coral reefs. So while shark fin soup may appear to be an extraordinary dish of indulgence, the industry has ecological consequences. And for you, the toxins are definitely dangerous. Maybe think twice next time you consider ordering. Our choice to stop eating shark will make an enormous difference.